Welcome back to another 5 Minute Farms. Today we're going to build a lava farm in under 5 minutes. As always, everything I need is going to be in this shulker right here, so now's a good time to pause the video, get a screenshot of all the materials you're going to need, and let's get building. And as always, the materials list will be in the description. Question. What's the best level to mine diamonds now in 118? You might not know, but it's actually negative 60. And what's the best level to mine coal? Not negative 60. It's actually about 96. That makes this farm super useful. All right, five minutes on the clock, if you please, let's go. Okay, we're gonna make a square out of cauldrons, five per side, skipping the corners, just like this. This is gonna be the, essentially the feed tape that gets pushed around, and this is gonna be pushed by these pistons, so we gotta make sure they're all facing the same way. They will all push, in my case, clockwise. Put the last piston in here, and then we're gonna go behind it, put the observer into this cauldron here. Redstone dust behind and a solid block. We're gonna repeat that on all four sides. Now obviously with the coal and diamond level being drastically different in 118, this is going to be a super useful farm because you don't want to have to mine two or three or four times just to get all your resources. Okay, with that part done, we're going to jump up on this cauldron, put a temporary block here, put the first solid block there, another temporary block and another one on this side, and then another solid and another solid block. Now we're just going to create a row of blocks above each of the cauldrons and above the empty corners. These blocks, plus the two walls that I've started already, will form a little path, a little channel for the lava to sit in, and we'll need a lava source block above each one of these blocks that I'm currently placing. Now you can scale this farm up if you have more time than five minutes, but you will need a lot more resources, so you'll need more dripstone, more lava buckets, etc. So You can also send the output from this farm directly into any storage system or fuel system that you need, so you could auto-power some furnaces with this. We're obviously not going to cover that in five minutes, but just so you know. I also just recently built this farm on my live stream over on Twitch, and I did it for a completely different reason than what we've already talked about. So yes, lava is great fuel and that's what we're going to use it for, but I'm also building a bit of a nether based uh, evil lair type build in my world. So I didn't want to run back and forth to the nether a hundred times just to get lava. I thought this would be a lot easier. Okay, with that done, we're going to grab some lava buckets. I'm just going to make a little staircase up to the top here because we have to make multiple trips. For the dripstone to actually drip lava, you're going to need a source block above every one of those original blocks that we put into this channel. I'm also painfully aware at this point that two minutes have passed on our five minute clock, and this is not going to be like the previous five minute farms where I have a minute and a half, two minutes left over. This is going to be pretty close. Let's time lapse the rest of this lava placement, shall we? And with this bucket here, we're done placing lava. Let's get the rest of the farm built. At this point, everything I need should be in my inventory. There's nothing left in the shulkers. We're gonna dig a small trench here. It's gonna be three by two by one deep, just like this. And I'm gonna put the rest of the items for the entire build on my hotbar so they're easier to access. Just makes things a little bit quicker. I find that when I'm setting up and preparing to do a five minute farm, I tend to put all the materials in the order I'm going to use them in my inventory and my hotbar. It really helps later on. All right, so we're gonna put a double chest on one side of this with a hopper facing into it, two half slabs on the lower side of this, a comparator coming out with some redstone dust and a dropper there that'll feed us buckets. Let's put some buckets in that now. At this point, the farm is almost done. We just need to add dripstone below each of these original blocks on this layer here. Break any temporary blocks that we added to get up and down. And then at the end, we'll just need to start up the farm by triggering one of the pistons to push one extra cauldron around and start the whole feed tape. With just over one minute left in the timer, we are uh, pushing this one a little bit close, but hey, we knew we would be. Okay, with the dripstone in, it's time to start up the farm. We're gonna put one cauldron here, a button on the side of the piston and push the button, and you can see the feed tape starts to go. We've already got one cauldron that's got lava in it. That's great. Let's grab some more buckets. We'll put some of those in here. Keep some of those in our inventory and what we need to do now is put a hopper into that a chest on there and a chest on there and the farm is done in just four minutes and 21 seconds we have a working lava farm now let me show you how it works the first thing you're going to need to do is fill your inventory with some sort of blocks or items so that nothing else can go into your inventory just like that you've got the bucket still in there stand down on this half slab point at the cauldron in front of you and just hold right click every time your bucket fills with lava, it can't go into your inventory, so it'll drop into the hopper in front of you and into the chest to your left. 
what you'll see is after a little bit of time, they start plopping in there. As the farm fills up, it'll go much quicker. The chest on the right of you is for extra empty buckets, so you can essentially put as many buckets into that chest as you can fit, and that's how many buckets of lava you'll end up with. As you can see, we've already got ourselves five buckets of lava. There's some extras in the dropper. We could keep going with this, but that's the end of the build, guys. Five minutes, we've got a lava farm, unlimited fuel. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the farm. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe drop me a comment. How'd you enjoy this one? Anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye. I lava you.